the silicon carbide semiconductor revolution. Today, around 30% of all electricity generated is lost in transmission, transformation, distribution, and conversion between power plant and final point of use. Faced with this challenge, the world is looking for more energy-efficient power conversion solutions. Leveraging its expertise, Merson is playing a key role in this search. Less energy intensive, less energy loss, and more energy efficiency with silicon carbide semiconductors, the revolution is gathering pace. When it comes to the industrial markets, to renewable energies and to mobility, the stakes are particularly high. So what does a power converter actually do? Its job is to change the voltage, intensity, or frequency of the current in order to adapt the power as required. Take electric vehicles, for example. For optimal performance, the engine must be supplied with power on demand. The converter adjusts the intensity or frequency of the current to improve energy efficiency. It must also invert the direct current of the vehicle battery to a pure three-phase alternating current. This is where the power semiconductor comes into play. It is designed to chop the direct current. The higher the chopping frequency, the purer the sine wave and the lower the energy loss. Until recently, silicon was used to manufacture semiconductors. A more efficient solution, silicon carbide, cuts energy loss in half and can withstand much higher temperatures. As a result, converters can be 50% smaller and the regenerative braking systems in trains and cars can recover 40% more energy, for example. Since the 1990s, the challenge for manufacturers has been to make the manufacture of silicon carbide semiconductors competitive. The base component of a semiconductor is the wafer, whose size is key. Since 2017, manufacturers have been able to manufacture 6-inch wafers. This is a game-changer, as 6 inches is a standard size of the wafers used in the silicon industry. Merson has played a key role in this development because the quality of its graphite and insulating felts have a positive impact on the quality of the crystals, thereby significantly reducing defects. Manufacturers can use existing installations. The technology is becoming profitable. Opportunities and energy savings abound. By 2030, 80% of the energy produced will be converted.